Welcome to the Horse Owners Minute. Today we have Mr. Patrick Kircher, the Roosevelt County Ag Agent, with us to discuss why it is important to weigh the feed and hay that you feed your horse. Patrick, I know it is commonly recommended to weigh your horse's feed and hay on a daily basis, but do people really need to do that? Many people think it is just a lot of extra work. Well, Jason, the answer to that question is yes and no. You certainly don't want to weigh your feed uh, every day, but you also don't want to feed, have your horse consuming uh, excess or less nutrients than they need. Uh, you are correct that it is some added time, but today we're going to show you some tips that will make it easier for you to perform these practices at home. So let's get started. The term bulk density is defined as the weight of a substance per unit volume. This chart shows the bulk density of some common feed ingredients used in equine diets. As you can see, a light fluffy feed like wheat bran has a bulk density of 13 pounds per cubic foot, where a more dense feed like corn has a bulk density of 45 pounds per cubic foot. This simply means that whatever scoop or coffee can you use to weigh with weighs about three times more with corn than in, with wheat bran. Let's weigh some of the different feeds we have and here we will see some clarity. We bought this feed scoop at the local feed store so that we have a consistent unit of volume to show you as we measure the weights of the various feeds today. Uh, we've also got a small kitchen scale uh, that can weigh up to 15 pounds. Uh, you could also use a digital uh, fish scale or luggage scale, however you need to use it. Um, and you can attach that to a basket uh, uh, to put your feeds in to weigh with. Uh, there's also various other types of scales, uh, digital di or the dial type scales, uh, manual scales, uh, any of those will work, and, and you all know that. Uh, but just some unit of measurement uh, so that you can take and figure out uh, exactly uh, what you're feeding those animals uh, consistently day in and day out. As you recall, I said the bulk density of whole corn is about three times that of wheat bran. So let's see. We're going to weigh these and we'll compare what these feeds weigh differently. This container of or our scoop we bought at the feed store weighs 1.5 pounds of whole corn. And this same container full of wheat bran weighs a half a pound. Weighing this cup full of trace mineral weighs 2.26 pounds. Full cup of soybean meal, 1.47 pounds. Okay, and let's take one more look at a commonly used horse feed stuff in whole oats. And those whole oats weigh 1.19 pounds. So as you can see, a huge variation depending on what your feed stuff is. Patrick, I took those weights you gave me and I plugged them into a spreadsheet with the nutrient values for those various feedstuffs. There are some interesting comparisons to make here. As you can see here on the chart, when we account for the differences in weight per cup of feed and the different energy content between the two, the cup of corn contains about 50% more megacalories of digestible energy than the cup of oats. This is very important to realize as this can make a huge difference in caloric intake over a few days. Another comparison I want to make is between whole corn and wheat bran in terms of the percent crude protein and the total grams of crude protein in the cup. While wheat bran is about two times greater in percent crude protein than corn, because the bulk density is so much lower, the cup of corn actually contains a greater amount of protein than the cup of wheat bran. Again, these relationships between unit volume, bulk density, and nutrient values between different feeds are why it is so important to weigh and know exactly how much you are feeding each day. And remember, we looked at those whole feeds, but also if you're feeding a bagged feed that's a complete feed, uh, remember, as long as you're not switching feeds on a real regular basis, if you take and mark on your cup or your can or whatever device you're using and you've calibrated that once, you don't have to reweigh every time because you know. But if you do change brands of feed, change types, types or styles, a texture, a pelleted, something like that, then you do need to go back and recalibrate your measuring tool 
to make sure you're still consistently delivering the amount of feed you thought you were. Friends, that's all the time we have for today. Please join us on the next Horse Owners Minute where Patrick will discuss weighing hay for horses. Thank <laughs> you.